Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Malcolm Jarden. I'm a postdoc uh, with Norma Rom at Carnegie Mellon University. And we do calculations mainly focused on using gas for material simulation. I'll give you a quick overview of like how we're using your resources, hopefully to the best of our ability, and some of the general results to kind of help you understand what we're doing. So um, we, we in this work here that I'm showing in this condensed poster, uh, we simulated a large uh, atomic trilayer system made of three different materials, indium timonide, cadmium telluride, and alpha tin. Uh, I'll say first that um, what uh, NERSC has allowed us to do here is basically tackle very large, uh, expensive systems, systems that like I've not really been able to see anywhere else, and that's kind of giving us our edge and you know, supplying information. So what sort of information is that, and why is it useful? Well, the system we're trying to tackle here, we're trying to get um, we're trying to get information that is useful for experimental devices that are interested in quantum computing applications. So making a quantum, making a qubit, that's a sort of experiment we're trying to we're trying to like, in, we're trying to give advice for by doing these simulations. So by able by being able to do such large simulations using you know efficiently using memory, using lots of cores to simulate large systems, we're actually able to give you know pretty good information to experiments and. So that's what we're able to offer th through your resources. So the reason here is um, we're looking for Majorana zero mode systems. This is what could be a potential qubit, kind of a hot topic in condensed matter theory circles. Um, but what we're doing here is we're using certain functionals uh, in VASP uh, that are very efficient uh, or very cheap, I should say. And so the problem is if you use an expensive functional, they can describe our system better. But you know we can't do these large systems using expensive, expensive functionals. So what we do is we use a, a, what's called the PBE plus U method. So our group uh, with uh, Noam Aram, with the group, uh, we developed uh, a Bayesian optimization machine learning algorithm that basically is able to fit uh, our system to calculate a cheap system uh, better and also efficiently. So using the cheap functional with this added on parameter, we can simulate large systems more accurately than we otherwise could. Um, and so just the results here, give a brief idea of what we're doing. So for example, um, these plots on the right here these are showing things such as the gap of material. So indium timonide is a small band gap semiconductor, you know, 0 0.3 uh, electron volts band gap. You've got a cadmium telluride, which is a large band gap semiconductor, around 1.2 electron volts. That's not too important here. Uh, but what, what I can show is in, in my plot at the top right, we can see that um, this dark region, i.e. the gap, has become smaller. That's because it's interfaced with a metal. Um, and then that causes the gap to be smaller near the interface. And that's like, you know, at the simplest level, that's a way we can understand my, our results. So what we do is we make a trilayer, we insert a, we insert a material into the middle of you know, our semiconductor, and in, in this case, a metal. We put a barrier in the middle, and we simulate these large systems with bigger and bigger barriers. And we're able to say, oh, we see that indium timonide has been protected from effects from the metal. And so, of course, you've got these three different materials. Uh, we, these are very big and expensive systems, hence why uh, you know, we have to do all these uh, we have to do all these uh, attempts to make the system accurate while being affordable using their resources. And so with this information, we can pass this on to experimentalists and say, hey, we, we think you can use a barrier, grow like 10 layers in this material. And that's the sort of way we're interfacing with um, experiment experimentalists using these sort of results uh, with VASP. Okay, and um, that's all I've got to say here. Uh, and if you've got any questions, uh, please feel free to email me. Thank you very much.